Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome to the live. I am so glad you're here. And I'm so glad I'm here. It's a story that I will tell you to start off the live. But before I tell you my story about my interesting afternoon, let me say hi to everybody. Oh my goodness. Okay, Sue Layden, you are the first one in here. Welcome, welcome, Sue. Linda, hello. Alyssa's here, the diamond painting accountant. She is accounting at work. You know, it's tax season. So goodness, Alyssa, we love you. Um, please don't work too hard and take care of yourself. Sarah, hello. Marilyn and Samantha, hello. Jenna and Christine, hi. Melanie, welcome. Uh, thank you, Alyssa. Yes, thumbs up do help and uh, I appreciate it. Daisy, hello. Anne and Tammy and Denise, Spunky Red, hello. Diamonds and Decaf is in the house. Don Sloat. Dragonwing Diamonds is here. Hello, Colleen. Hello. Uh, I, I've said hi to Tammy a couple of times, but I think there are two or three Tammies in here. So I want to say hi to all, all three of the Tammies. Hi. <laughs> uh, Joe Atwood. Hi, Marion. Hi. <gasps> Marion's going to be my roomie at the Ohio or at the uh, Mingle in the Mitten retreat. I keep getting them all mixed up. Goodness, I, I've had an afternoon. Just give me some grace here. Pink Poodle, Ashley, hi. Sherry Jones, hi. Sue Bell is in the house. Hi, Sue, how are you? Tina and Terry, hello. Hi, John, Vicki and Leanne, hello. Risa, hi. Shell Anderson is in the house. Allison, hello. Um, I have had a, I've, I've had a, I've had a Monday. It's been great. I mean, believe me, uh, when you hear the story, you'll get it. Uh, Brandy Land. Hello, Jen. Hi. Uh, Sherilyn. Marsha Hargis is in the house. Hi. Uh, Linda Bailey. Hello. Jess Russ. Hello. Hello, Linda. Sherilyn, hello. Let's see. Julie Shepard, hello. I have had a day. LOL, not an afternoon. Oh no. I think the eclipse has caused people to go a little cray cray. But anyway, we'll talk about that. Julie, hello. Barb, hi, Barb Taupe. Um, let's see. There are a lot of Tammies in the community, Tammy Short, yes. And Bling It Up is in the house. I'm gonna bring her in in uh, just a sec. So hi, everybody. Um, so I barely made this live, barely. I go today to get my mail because we have a post office box. So I go to the post office, get the, get the mail. Then I go to Target because I have things to get and things to do. I wanted to get some kid prizes because we have Piper. If Piper's watching, hi, Piper. Um, so I was getting some goodies for kid prizes and other stuff that I needed at Target. And I'm Pollyanna, not paying any attention to my surroundings, what's happening. And I'm up towards the front of the store so I can see what's happening. All of a sudden, I'm catching movement out of the corner of my eye and I look over and everyone is like practically everyone in the store is running to the front door. No one's going outside. They're just running to the front door. Hi, Delia. Welcome. So um, I'm looking and I'm like, why is everyone crowded around staring out the front door? At the same time, I'm listening to this woman and she's literally shouting into her phone, stay down, you get down in that car right now, get on the floorboard. And I'm like, oh God, what is going on? Just look up into the back of the parking lot in time to see no less than 10 cop cars pull up, get out. They're all running around, going to their trunks, getting shotguns, running around. I mean, I was like, oh dear Lord, now. My first husband was a police officer and he taught me well. So what I did, know your surroundings, know where you are, find another exit out in a panic. So that's what I did. I turned around, I saw the back exit of the target. So I'm standing there 
And I would have had plenty of time to do that because we were quarantined for two hours in the Target. And the whole time I'm like, I got a live. I got a live to do. What am I going to do? Then I was like, oh, I need to call Marlon. And then I thought, nope, Marlon is going to freak out. He can't do anything anyway. I'm fine, you know, whatever. And I'm calming this woman down. She's like, I'm a terrible mother. I left my son in the car. I'm like, how old is your son? She's like, oh, seventh grade. And I said, you're not a terrible mom. I did that all the time. They sometimes don't want to come in with you to the store and you run in to get something quick. And they're old enough where they know to keep the doors locked and all that. I'm a terrible mother. No, you're, you're good. You're good. I'm like, he's safe. I said, where's the car in the parking lot? It was not near the action in the back. So they finally, after two hours, let us out of a, 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 an alternate door. And I'm like, great. My car is parked front row right there. But I had all my stuff. I was like, I'm checking out. I'm, I, you know, I'm not letting... <laughs> These people control my life. The police had it all contained in the back anyway. I was not worried. I knew where another exit was. I could throw all my stuff down and run to the back exit if I needed to. I didn't. So I checked out with all my stuff. So it wasn't a wasted trip. Now, this is where it gets funny. I get my stuff, leave, get in my car, call Marlon. I'm fine. I'm on the beltway on the way home. Everything's fine. So I'm like, oh, I'm going to listen to a little music on the way home. Turn on the radio. You can't make this up. You just cannot. The song that is playing on the radio is, I'm not kidding, Staying Alive by the Peaches. I was like, what in the world? Really? I think the whole world went a little cuckoo today because of the eclipse, but that was the theme song that I had driving home from Target where, you know, all you know, chaos had busted out. But anyway, um, don't, uh, they said that there were shots fired in the parking lot, but I mean, you know, you're in a situation and everyone has a story. So you don't know what to believe. People are panicked. People are, oh my God, you know, obviously there was a firearm involved, or I don't think these police officers would be running to the trunks of their car to get shotguns, which they all were and running around. Um, I did not hear anything. I mean, but they said there were shots fired in the parking lot. So anyway, I just got in my car and drove away as quickly as possible. I didn't want to know what was going on. I just wanted out of there because I'm like, I have to get home to my life. So happily, I am here. I am fine. And I did get my prizes. So all good. And uh, hopefully everyone uh, in that parking lot is safe. And, um, you know, we all made it home safely. So. Uh, Thank God for that. And as my mother said, Kara, you cheated death again. <laughs> so, all right. Well, that's what's been happening in my world. I hope everyone has had a great day. Um, if you wanted to saw the eclipse, it was so cloud covered here. I saw nothing like there was nothing to see, really. Um, but I got some good pictures that people took and sent. It was really cool. So hi, Cheryl. Hello, hello. Without any further ado, I do have one of my hosts. Now, for the next two months, these lives are going to be dedicated to Dakotathon and what the goings on with Dakotathon, plus to catch up with all of you. Um, and so the committee members will come in and out. Um, and I said, you know, everyone's not required to, to be here, but if you want to be here, um, you certainly can. And so Rochelle is here. Um, I want to thank Rochelle for her hard work because I know Rochelle won't brag on herself. So while she's not here, but listening, I'm going to brag on her. She is the one that, um, started us off. She started spreadsheets for us to accurately get, uh, all the prize winners names so we could draw them and make sure everyone was included. She had double duty because she not only had the start posts to, uh, tabulate. She also had week one to tabulate. So um, I'm very, very grateful for her and for this whole committee. I mean, I just, I cannot say enough. Uh, they're the dream team. They really, really are. So um, I am going to let her in at this time. So welcome, welcome, Rochelle. Bling it up. Thank you. Thank you. And I must say, we are a cool bunch of things, let's just yes. say. We're a cool <laughs> bunch of committee members. I'll tell you guys, it's been a lot of fun. And yes. for me, just to see everybody's diamond paintings, not only the start pictures, but the progress was so much fun. There's a couple that I missed buying and I'm like, oops, 
I got to write that down. I got to write that down. Yeah. So I enjoyed it very much. Now, I'm not sure about everybody else. I know Karen mentioned the eclipse. Very surprising to me. I got a good glimpse right outside my front door, oh, which cool. was shocking. Yes, which was shocked. So I worked from home today just because I wanted to make sure that I was able to give Kara some support. You know, we all have a lot going on. So as Kara mentioned, we may be coming in and out. And this was actually my week. So I was like, you know what? I need to work from home today. I need to make sure that I'm ready. And guess what? I logged off early, but I did not have my Starbucks. So I had to run out. I had to run out. <laughs> Luckily, Starbucks is only eight minutes away from me. But I had a tough day. I'll be honest. It was a long day. It was a tough day, but now it's over. So I'm ready to have some fun. So Yay! glad to be here. Glad. To and I got a chance to work on Libra, which was so cool this week. And I haven't worked on it in a while, but it was so cool to work on it. So um, I'm here. I'm ready to get some stats. When Kara tell me, we're all ready and we'll have yeah. some fun. Well, I am excited because, and I, I will show this off. Um, I had kitted up majesty because i finished everest don't ask me how i did it but i finished it in 18 days um it was around and i i have really guys if you want a free piece of advice i know it's harder to multi-place horizontally than vertically but i challenged myself and i made myself get comfortable with vertical placement multi-placing i mean who finishes everest in 18 days that's like that for me that was absolutely unheard of. So now I'm supporting my friends in a lot of events. So I have four. You, you guys know how anxiety ridden I get when I kid up more than two. I have four kitted up. So I have, I got my sparklers today. All right. From, uh, from DP with sparklers. I'll show you those. And, um, I got a new color that I'm absolutely obsessed with metallic denim. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I thought it was blue 192, but now it's metallic denim. I become obsessed with different colors. Um, but I thought, okay, I'm not going to start Majesty until I get my enhancements because it's just it's just one of those things. I just have to have it so I know what I'm doing and I didn't want to put drills down where they weren't supposed to be. So I got my DP with sparklers today. So that's what I'm doing now is um, putting my sparklers in my containers I also have Rolling in the Deep kitted up uh, from Jaded Gem Shop. It's a it's a picture. It's fan art. It's a picture of Adele um, that I absolutely love. Um, Jade is doing Jaded Gemboree. So I kitted that one up because I had it. That was one of my paintings that I wanted to get done this year. I have a Hannah Lynn kitted up. I've been working on a Hannah Lynn for uh, Hannathon that uh, my bestie Brandy is doing with Beth Shine Like a Diamond. Um, that's Golden Poppy Fairy. And I have a Francesca skidded up because I was talking to Mindy of Mindy's Diamond Moment. And um, she and Francesca are doing an event. So I have a sunflower piece from Francesca's. So uh, I have two shops that I've never done a diamond painting from. And I've been trying to do different companies so that I can speak about them and say, I've done a canvas from them. And this is what I found. Um, I'm enjoying the heck out of all of them, but I have not started. I have majesty down here, um, but I also have, oh my God, look at these colors. This is an AB, this is in the pack that enhances majesty. This is AB glow jelly. Okay, I, I can't help it. I gotta show. Um, <laughs> I gotta show the new color I'm obsessed with. Metallic denim. Oh my, it's a dark, dark blue, but look at that coating on the top. Oh, it's so pretty. I, have you worked with metallic denim, Rochelle? Oh, absolutely. Metallic denim. And you got to make sure you get Serene, S for S Serene to go with it. Okay. That really makes it pop. So everybody out there, if you go to DP with Spockers, I'm telling you, the metallic blues are amazing. You got metallic independence, metallic still blue. That one might be out now. You have metallic um, blue jeans. You have metallic lapis blue. All the blues I love. I've oh. worked with probably all of them. They are gorgeous. But make sure you get some s for s or sparklers to go with them. Because if you pair them up, let me tell you, you get a sparkle on those drills like no other. Yee. So go out and get some. Okay. So I got two bags of 823. This is the crystal. And again, this is all... I, ha I have purchased all of these with the recommendation of DP with sparklers. And then um, these are your sparklers for squares. This is... Are you ready? Meta 
I just can't show them on camera. Metallic Arctic, which, oh my gosh, it's like a blue green, light, light mm -hmm. ice, blue green, which is why it's called Metallic Arctic. And then this is a purple or dark lavender sparklers for squares. That's pansies. So that's what I've got. And I am, um, I'm kidding them up. Uh, right now to put in my dazzle deck to be ready to start uh, Majesty. So hello, Veronica. Veronica, you're never late. We're glad you're here. Ooh, Melinda's using metallic blues on a mailbox in Pinson and Pinson. Nice. Oh, nice. And see, I use blue so much. All my blues are right here. Okay. Yeah, I got to right, right take a lesson, you. Rochelle, on how you organize <laughs> your sparklers because right now, I mean... I've organized them in squares and rounds, and that's about the extent of it. So I need to separate. Right. <laughs> separate. Just everybody remember the way they look in the package. When you take them out, they look a little different, and they're beautiful. You don't really even get the color until you take them out the package. Like Kara, once you start pouring them into your, your, mm -hmm. you know, your drill tray. Oh my goodness, you're, you're gonna love it. Well, and there are. Um, I will say this too. Um, there are some sparklers that look different even from the container to the painting. Like in True. Everest, there was a lavender sparkler. And I was like, lavender in Everest? Like it's lavender. And Cheryl and Tina were like, trust us. Just tr And I, you put it down and it doesn't even look lavender. It looks different. So um, yeah, uh, it's been, it's been really fun. And um I need to get a little bit more adventuresome. Um, I have um, in, well, I, I always get adventuresome with my Hannah Lynn's because you can always just bling the crud out of a Hannah Lynn. They, it just screams, bling me. So it's a small painting. It's a 40 by 60 or a smaller painting. It's a 40 by 60. And I think I've switched out 14 colors <laughs> in addition to the AV right? already charted. Yeah. I mean, yes. I just, start grabbing and I'm like, Ooh, okay. So That's right. now I don't know if you've seen Libra yet, but take a look at Libra. I have about maybe 10 blues in there, but they're gorgeous. Yeah. They are gorgeous. They really are. They, really, they look it's, really good. It's fun to play. But what I like to guys is if you uh, purchase a bling pack or a, an enhancement pack from DP with sparklers, they put a variety of different types of drills in that pack. And what that's helped me do is um, pearls for squares. The Hannah Lynn I'm working on is a round. Well, they had pearls for squares in the Everest enhancement pack. So now it just kind of has opened up my brain to, oh, okay, well, I, I had some really pretty orange pearls for squares. And so I'm using them on a round Hannah Lynn and they work. They just mm -hmm. work. But I would have never thought of that if I hadn't had a variety of drills in the other um, packs. So um, it'll help those of you um, that, you know, are going, oh my gosh, what do I do? I don't want to mess this diamond painting up or whatever. Um, that really helps you to just play around with the variety of sparklers that they've got. So I agree. And don't be afraid, you know, if this is square and you want to round. So for example, I'm doing a square painting where I have some big bubbles for squares, five millimeters, and they look fantastic on the painting. They're round, but my painting is square. Yeah. It just gives it a different depth and a different texture. Looks really good. So play around. Play around. I, re I remember calling Brandy. And um, when I first got sparklers for squares, well, I didn't realize they were round. And I was like, I can't put these on a square painting. And Brandy's like, Trust me, Kara. They're supposed to be on a square painting. They're smaller. They're supposed to be. You can't tell. You won't be able to tell. And I'm like, yes, you will. They're putting rounds by squares. And she's like, just do it. Just try it. So it's forced me to really branch out and go, you know what? If I don't like it, I can pick them off and start over. And I've done that. Um, huge Hannah Lynn fan. I know. Me too. Oh. Uh, really don't buy extra bling or have to limit myself on purchasing a kit. I might have to have typical DAC supplies. And you know what? That's, That's fine. fine. Do mm -hmm. what I always say. Do what makes you comfortable and is your jam. Um, you don't have to do what everybody else is doing. If you are happy with your diamond painting and the way that it is and you're this is supposed to be fun. 
So if blinging stuff isn't fun for you, don't do it. It's fine. You know, um, okay. I just, again, like the directions because I think a lot of people want to kind of venture out, but they don't kind of know what to do. And these plans tell you where to put everything and they're free. You can go on their site and I, I would go under FAQ on their site and they're free. So, yeah, they're awesome, guys. The enhancement suggestions on DP with sparklers and it's tons of them out there. They're mm -hmm. awesome. Gives you good ideas. You don't have to buy everything. You can buy one or two, but they're really good. Very informational. <laughs> Veronica says, I have decision paralysis, sapphires and ocean waves. Uh, I have decision paralysis. I need someone to decide for me. I know. <laughs> me too. I don't have paralysis. I just go, I want that and that and that. And then all of a sudden it's like, okay, wait, I've gone way overboard. <laughs> oh my gosh. But... Okay, can I show y'all something else? And okay, this is is uh, leopard leather works in the house. Is leopard leather works in the house? Well, if they're not in the house, they'll probably get a surprise because I think some people are going to want this after I show you it. So this product has not been on their site. It was an idea that I cooked up with Tim, and it's because. We, uh, well, we were talking uh, when we had, when Marlon and I had lunch with them when they came down to get on their cruise and I work in my craft room, but I also work on my dining room table. Like right now I'm at my dining room table. Um, especially when I have multiple kits kitted up, I one's on my table because we rarely eat at the dining room table. I know that's terrible, but we don't, there's just the two of us. But when people come over and I have people over and I'm wanting to clean up and I have all these little, I mean, I have my bags of drills. I have all, you know, uh, vials of all kinds of stuff sitting out. I wanted to be able to pick everything up at once and not have to keep going back and forth for drills. And I, I wanted to keep everything together and organized and know, because when I put it back, I want to know where I'm at. And that was getting difficult. And I said, I like the trinket trays this size. I like the trinket trays. And what I do with the trinket trays is I have everything in it that I need. I have my wax or putty in it. I have my tweezers, um, scissors if I need them, um, just everything that I need. So it's, it's handy because some people are like, what do you do with those trinket trays? Again, that's what I do. So everything is accessible because half the time without this, I was like, where are my tweezers? And it was under the canvas or wherever it was. This keeps everything all in place, but it's small. I wanted something bigger that I could lift up and just move. So what Tim and Tim was like, let me think on this. Let me think on this. And Tim is one of those scary, smart people. You can, if you can envision it, he'll figure out how to do it. So he did me a tray, guys. Oh my gosh. Now I am. Okay. You guys know the drill already, right? Those of you that have been with me, remember when I showed you my gift from Marsha Hargis, the spinning trays, and I told you what you needed to do because I'm, because I'm going to show this in an unboxing of small shops as well. Remember, you're going to see it here first because I will share with you guys first, but when you see it in the video, appropriately, ooh, and ah, okay. Look at this. Look at this. It is a tray that you oh, can I put so much stuff on. It's got beautiful gold handles and it's all resin. They've poured it. And I, it. Um, I know that they'll make you one if you want one, but I just like having something beautiful that I can put all of my stuff on and then I can pick it all up and move it. I love but it. I I love this. Love it. Love it. And um, he did it to go with uh, some of, I mean, this could go with any Dakota painting, but I really got it for just every painting that I do. I just love it. Um, and again, it, it'll, you can put your stuff on here and just move it. And um, it's neat, tidy. Everything's in order in one spot. So it's not all spread out. I was tossing stuff on the coffee table and having to move it again. So um, I was excited that Tim uh, came up with my vision. It's uh, dark on the bottom, but. Oh, I love it. 
see I, me rubbing my hands? When I rub my hands, that means I, you know, <laughs> I got I got to work this in. I got yeah, this into yeah. my bag. I was I excited! It. Yay. That's They're beautiful. making more. They had to replace the mold. Yes, but mm -hmm. I was excited to get to be the first person to show mine. I'm so excited. So if you want one, I know Tim uh, will will do you one, but that's what I'm using mine for is just to have it all in one place and just to be able to move it quickly if I need to tidy up for company or whatever. So hi, Diamonds and Dootley. You're never late. You're never late. We're glad you're here. Um, let's see. Oh, Debbie Rice is in the house. Hi, Debbie. Okay. What have I missed in the chat? I am so sorry. Well, it looks like it was made to, yes, it was, it was kind of made to match majesty. So yeah. Gorgeous. Uh, I am so sorry. I have just been blathering on. No, I think uh, you're good. Not too much went on in the, in the okay. chat. Okay. Okay. Good, good, good. All right. So that's what I'm doing at this moment is I'm kidding up my sparklers for majesty and um, I'll lay some drills on it tonight. Um, do we want to start uh, yes. announcing Ready? prizes? I don't want to announce them all. How about we do stats first? You want to do stats? Yes, do stats. Yeah, do stats. Okay, Rochelle is a stat person. So it was Rochelle's <laughs> week for all of this last week. It's my week this week. Have no expectations of this because I don't know if I'm ever going to be as good as Rochelle. Maybe she'll help me with stats, but... I'll help you. That's okay. right. No worries. No worries at all. That's just a matter of data, right? So no yes. worries. So I thought this was pretty cool. First and foremost, I said to myself, hmm, I wonder how good of a week that we have week one. Well, in my mind, it was amazing. Why? Let me, t let me give you guys just a gist of the number of participants. We had 335 total participants. That was when we closed the post. That's excellent. That is excellent, right? Honestly, when I said I wanted to do week one, I had no idea we were going to have that many, but it's okay. It's okay. So from that 317, which is 95% of that population, did diamond paintings. Okay. 12, 3% of the population did coloring, cross-stitch, and they're in that paint category. And we had six kids. I love it. Hi to all the kids that are in there. And that represents 2%. So again, 335 total participants. All right. That's amazing. I think that's cool. That's amazing. Now, I wonder if you guys can guess which painting was selected the most. Throw it in the chat if you think you know. Which painting do you think came in number one, meaning it had the most people actually entering that painting for the event? I was surprised at this answer. Kind of. And we didn't we didn't count the committee members. So Karen, no, okay. I didn't count you. I didn't count myself. And you while know. they're, and while they're guessing, yeah, put your guest in the chat. Um, while they're guessing, um, there are some people that did not post for week one, either they, you know, a couple of people were international and missed the deadline. Um, I know, uh, Joe Atwood, who's in the chat is joining us this week. So I'm, I'm thinking we'll have even more. So, all right. Yes. We got Everest, Pegasus, Majesty. Majesty. We're close. We're close. Uh, we someone Hazel's talked, world. Hazel's so, world. So Tina, you are correct. Hazel's world came in number one. Hazel's world came in number one at 27 participants. Now, if we would have counted Kara and Alyssa, it would have been Everest. So Everest came in at number two with 26 and then Majesty with 25, and then Pegasus Constellation with 24. And that's when we closed the post. And we've had a couple people start after we closed. So th these numbers will probably change next week. But Hazel's World is the number one selection right now. Well, and that kind of surprised me. And so Hazel's World and Everest are kind of neck and neck, which is, you know, again, it was a little bit surprising to me. Not that, I mean, I love Hazel's World, but everybody was talking about Pegasus Constellation and what they were going to do and all this stuff. And I was like, wow, I, I, you just didn't see Hazel's World come up that much with people just talking about it. So that was kind of mm -hmm. what I was going on. But so Hazel's World won, but Everest it won for week one. We'll do yeah. it each week. That's week one. And I also want to mention we had craftably rosebuds. So we had a couple people enter that. So that was pretty cool to see. That was pretty Yay. cool. So thank you for those that are doing the craftably. I think that was uh that was cool. Yes, that's a 
Great. That those are great. I have I have them both, and um, it's a great tribute to Craftably. Absolutely. Um, I did Absolutely. not get the title Everest because it's a lighthouse. Everest is a mountain. <laughs> <laughs> It's I was old. shocked when Kara told me she finished. I was like, what in the world? She must have been going to town. But I was shocked because that, that painting's humongous. It's humongous. You were going to town on that one. Oh, you uh -huh. love it so yeah. much. You <laughs> love it so much. I do, yeah. And again, that's that multi-placing. So Rosebud, yeah. one that uh, Cheryl really wants. So, oh, Jen did Hazel's World last year, and it was popular last year. It's a, Oh, God, that painting is adorable. I, I just... Um, I think I want to do Hazel's world and self portrait together. Cause they're kind of companion pieces. So yeah. Yeah. That's pretty cool. And can someone please tell me why I did not buy Phoenix rising? I have no idea. I, what was I thinking? <laughs> well, <laughs> I, like thought my that way, moment. I, I thought that way about Eden. I was like, oh where goodness. was I, I? Cause I was diamond painting when Eden came out, you know, nice. but I missed it and I got it on a D stash. Thank goodness. But I was like, even if I, you know, at that point, I would not have known who Dakota Dateweiler or her art was, but I, that was such a beautiful one. I'm like, where was I? I don't know. Same here. Phoenix Rising, I missed that one, so I have to go. Hopefully it's still there. If not, that's all right. I'll just stalk the site like I did Majesty. Because mm -hmm. Majesty, so my besties on here, Sue, uh -huh. thank you for making me say to myself, why the heck did I not buy Majesty? Right. So, I got it. When it came back in, I got it. I need to do the same thing for Phoenix Rising. So hopefully that one is still there. Yeah, everyone everyone now is like weighing in with their favorites. Kentara's like, spirits! <laughs> <laughs> I need to, and that's, that's another one that I need to do because spirits was the very first sneak peek of Dakota's I ever got. And I had no idea who Dakota was and it was through that painting I reached out to her and I said, I'm the lucky person that got to show this painting. And she was so sweet. And she sent me um, a print that she signed of spirits. And she also sent a key because when you're doing a sneak peek, at least when I do it, I don't pre look at anything. It's all I, I'm seeing it for the you, what you see is what you get. You're, you're seeing it with me for the first time. And so the whole magical, you know, part of spirits is there's animals hiding in the picture. And I love pictures like that where it's camouflaged. And I found some of them, but I missed some too, because I was a little bit, it was a big painting. I unboxed it on my bed. It was that big. Um, and I was, you know, you're nervous, you're in a different spot filming. And so I missed some. So she sent me a key so the next time I videoed, I showed the painting and where everything was according to the key. And I was like, ah, I found some more stuff. The big thing that I missed in spirits is in that waterfall in spirits. Speaking of Phoenix rising, it looks like there's a Phoenix rising in the water. It's really cool. Oh, and I just, someone just said it's archived. So I got to talk to Berta. Is Berta yeah. on yet? Berta. Yeah. Where is Berta? <laughs> just like willing and dealing with Berta. Oh, oh, I love goodness. it. Um, I know Tammy. Yep. Yep. She is just, she's an amazing person. She really, really is. Um, not only do we love her art, but we just love her just as yeah. the, because of the person that she is. I mean, again, she didn't know me from Adam and, you know, I just messaged her and said, Hey, I, you know, here's the link to the video I just unboxed. And she was like, Oh, this was great. And I get this package and it's, you know, print of spirits. She signed it. And I'm like, Oh my, and Marlon, Marlon's like, Oh, that's going in my office. I'm like, Oh no, no, it's not. <laughs> yes. Oh. She has quickly become my favorite artist. I mean, mm. very quickly. I love all her work. It's just amazing. I, I do too. And it's all so realistic. I mean, even I'm looking at the rendering for majesty. I mean, even the, the, the veins or whatever, you know, the, the mm -hmm. kind of veins in the side of the, the, it's a unicorn, the unicorn's face. I mean, it looks exactly like a horse. Beautiful. Like, yeah. It's beautiful. Um, yes, Catherine. I love Chuck Pinson too. Yeah. I mean, all these artists are so talented. It's amazing. Uh, oh, Spirit of the Phoenix and Phoenix in the Redwoods. Yep. Oh, I know. We have, we have lots more um, Dakotas that uh, we need to come out. And 
what is she doing? She's creating more. So yeah. Um, tendons probably, Jamie. Yes. That's the word I was probably looking for. Um, yes. I can't wait for the Christmas paintings to come out. I know DAC is going to pick those up. I know yeah. they are. Uh, Kara, you got to give us like a, you know, a little hint. It's like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> We may or may not be seeing something coming up. <laughs> um, I know unicorns do not exist, but we like to They're look magical. at them. They're fun. They're magical. Yes. Fantasy. <laughs> fantasy is fun. I love um, fantasy. Oh, uh, Veronica's saying, I uh, love when she was asking for feedback on what represents us for Zodiac. I gave opinions on Libra as my sign. It made me feel like I helped create it. Yeah, yeah she does. She gets a lot of input from people. I know Majesty Brandy, my bestie, named gave the suggestion to name this piece Majesty. And so I remember that. That's always been, oh my gosh, I got to, you know, have a part in naming it. And Dakota liked it. So yeah. Um, yes, I, uh, lousy hint, LOL. <laughs> well, I can tell you right now, Wanda, there are no Christmas ones coming out in the near future. <laughs> I can tell you that there aren't. Um, so anyway, hi, hi. there's Berta. Berta, hey, Berta must have heard us talking about her. <laughs> Rochelle was at, telling me, uh, telling us that she, uh, is missing a canvas that's been archived and she needs to talk to you about it. Yes, Berta, I got to connect with you. Phoenix Rising. I don't mm -hmm. know what I was thinking. Yes. You know, I miss Eden as well. So I got to uh, gotta connect with Berta. Yes. Uh, Sarah wants the crack in one. Yes. And everybody's saying, hi, Berta. <laughs> but yeah, so that is um, what I have been um, up to. Now, when you go, Rochelle, I know your practice of blinging is, is different. Mm -hmm. Um, cause you're on a whole nother level. <laughs> um, do you pull, do you have your, your ones that you want, or do you just have your whole collection out and just look and see, or do you pre-plan? Yep. So I think for me, as I buy the bling, so for almost one whole year, I was buying the monthly packs, mm -hmm. didn't really use them. I took them out, looked at everything after one year and the colors just were in my head. Mm -hmm. Right. And I can remember when I was a little girl, I used to do that with coloring books and crayons and the colors just got stuck in my head. And I love blue. So immediately when I see a picture, I know the colors I want to put on just because I kind of know the drills. Mm -hmm. I kind of know what they look like. I kind of know the look I'm looking for. And it doesn't matter to me what the canvas looks like or what colors on the canvas. I make it look the way I want it to look. Mm -hmm. And what's very different for me is what I do is as soon as I know I'm going to do the painting, I go over to my stash. I pull the colors. I think it's going to look good. And I put it in like a, a container like this. Mm -hmm. This is just a clear container that has a top. Right. I just throw it all in. I'm not really sure if I'm going to use it all, but I throw it in. And then when I open the painting, right, actually I get my iPad, which is in the other room. I should have put it in. I get my iPad. Mm -hmm. I take a picture of the painting and then I put on the picture what bling I want to put where. Okay. So, and then when I open the canvas, I say, all right. Okay, does it look good to me? If not, I switch it out. But everything I want to use is kind of in a container. So I did the same thing for Snow Tiger. I haven't opened Snow Tiger up yet, but I have a little container over there. And it has everything that I think I could possibly use for Snow Tiger. Okay. Then once I open it, I really get a gist of, okay, here's what I want to put on it. And then what I try to do is stay away from the other ones because I wind up putting them all on. <laughs> well, I have to, um, my work style. Hi, Tia. Tia, Tia is in the house. Hello, hey, my Tia. friend. Good to see you. I have to keep the plastic on the painting because I have to see the entire painting as a Same whole. Same with me. Same with me. And when I, if, if I'm doing it myself and I don't have my plan beside me, I have to literally, if I find a color I want to replace, I have to replace that whole color where, where I want it on the entire canvas because I mm. get so hyper-focused on putting down drills that I'll get gotcha. to a section that I wanted to bling up and I won't because I've just missed the forest for the trees just because I'm so focused on yeah, what I yeah. want. So I have and to- see, Yeah, I, and see for me, I'm a little bit different on how I start my paintings. I start my painting on what I want to bling. 
So when I did Libra, you guys know the sword that's kind of like over her shoulder. I did that first. So I took the plastic off completely. I cut it in two sections. So it only exposed the sword. And I bling that up first. And then I go around it. Okay. Yeah. And I do that with whatever catches my eye. Like what makes me love the painting. And Libra's so me. I'll be very honest. That painting is me, my mother, my sister, everybody that's a Libra. I see it in that painting. It's like, oh, I love it. And that sword got me. And I started with that first. And then I said, all right, well, you know what? I think I want to work on her sort of her, I call it her shield, her body. Yeah. Because all almost all the blues that I want to use, I want to put it there so I can get a gist of the coloring and I can say where I want to place it on the rest of the canvas. But for me, I don't replace color for color. I just make it look the way I want it to look. But I kind of stay similar, but the sword is completely different. So if you guys see, it's right behind me. Yeah, where is it? I want to see. Yeah, it's right we behind me. We want to see. We want to see. I'll show you. I'm going to move this a little bit. So it'll make it a little bit easier. You'll see all my junk in the back. Not junk, but see, when I'm moving stuff around. Hold on. I'll be right back. Okay. Berta right. says she's only missing two Dakota paintings. I have Ooh, all of her two. others. All right. Hold on. I was missing a couple of Zodiacs, but I went ahead and got them. Um, but Yeah. Because we all must right. have all of them. But Libra was a, a special one because Marlon is a Libra. And um, that's really the only Zodiac series that I have had to have at all. Ooh, oh, my gosh. It's blinding me. Rochelle, it's blinding me. <laughs> so here is Libra. Oh, my gosh. And that is gorgeous. Yeah. It, I love it. I love it. The color is just Oh my blend God. so well. They really do. They blend so well. And I actually put something out on Instagram. I show it a little bit more, but I got a chance to work on it this weekend. But see, I worked on the sword first and I worked on the handle, like the handle. I wanted it to look a certain way. It's so funny, Rochelle, because what the, what, okay. And y'all correct me if I'm wrong, because of the bling on that sword, it actually looks like it's moving. Like on the, when you held it up close, it looks yes. like it's moving. Oh my gosh. And it looks like it's lit. If you look at it in the video, it looks lit. Oh my gosh. That is gorgeous. Oh, wait till you see what I'm going to do with the sky. It is absolutely, <laughs> I have this thing in my head for the scales in the sky. I can't wait to do it. Oh this, weekend. This, this weekend. This weekend. This weekend. Yes. Oh my gosh. And Rochelle has a very demanding and important job. And I mean, I just, I, I don't know how you do it. My brain would be, I mean, getting home. I know when I was working, getting home from my job, my brain was literally mush. So how you can get home and plan this. I mean, my hat is off to you. Oh my gosh. But the key is, right. I work on it on the weekends. Mm -hmm. So I don't really work on it during the week only because I don't have the time. I can set this thing back up. There we go. I don't really have the time, but on the weekends, when I get free time, like this week, I didn't have time two weekends ago, but this weekend I had time and I worked on it and it was so much fun. And mm -hmm. I got it to the point where I wanted to get it to the point where I can actually put it out on Instagram or on my YouTube so people can kind of see it. Yeah. But I absolutely love it. I absolutely love it. And I'm telling you, and I already planned out the blues for Majesty. I planned out the blues for Capricorn. I planned out the blues for Scorpio. And there's two base colors that I'm going to use in all of them, but I'm using all those different blues to make them look a little bit different. So oh. much fun. Okay. Now you're going to, you know what I'm going to do after this live, right? I'm going to go through all of my sparklers because I feel woefully <laughs> inadequate. <laughs> and listen, Hey guys, don't think those mystery blues aren't good. They are. Those mystery blues are in my painting. They are gorgeous. Okay. Those Thank mystery blues, A and B. I think it's A, B, maybe Cheryl's in the chat. It's a, B. I have all of them, but they are gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Well, I'm, you know what? Yeah. Uh, you, you have inspired me, Rochelle. I will try Good. some different <laughs> stuff on Majesty. I did get the kit, but I know I can add. So I'll have to look at that tonight. Um, Brittany, hello. Don't, you're never late. And we're so glad you're here. Um, Bling It Up has helped me tremendously. Brittany, I'm sure she has. Oh, oh hey, Brittany. Yes. <laughs> I love it, guys. I, I absolutely love it. And I'll tell you, when I went to the first retreat and Kara, you were there. When I walked in, I didn't know anything about bling. Mm -hmm. You know, I just had my diamond paintings and I went in and I was like, wait a second. 
It was J Rob, it was T Ma, it was Tina. You guys were there, and I'm like, look at those paintings. Hmm. Mm -hmm. they're, they're you know they're a little shiny. <laughs> they're shiny more than mine. What's going on here? And as yeah. I started talking, and T Ma had her products there, and I was just like, okay. So I stopped buying diamond paintings because I was like, I got, you know how we all do. I got enough of yep. that. And I just went on to the sparkler craze. I have That's a piece. Of, I, did. I have a piece of advice for everyone: never, <laughs> never go into a <laughs> vendor room with Cheryl Gerhards. Never oh. do it. It is absolutely uh, dangerous, dangerous for your pocketbook because it's like, oh, look, we have this new, and I'm like, put it in the basket. This new, okay. <laughs> I'll take that. She will be very helpful. Your That's wallet so won't be helped, but you will be very helped. And um, oh my gosh, it's been so so much fun to play around and um, you know get get going on that. Jamie, they have not released Gemini. I am a Gemini, so I am waiting on that one. I'm waiting um, on that one too. They have not released any. Uh, they've still got how many zodiacs from Dakota to? I think three or four. There's like three or four left. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Gemini Maybe. is one, and I think. What Dakota said was Gemini was uh, one of the last paintings that she did. So she gave her paintings to DAC in order. They have the whole Zodiac series. So Aries, please release the rest. What? I don't know if Aries came out. Uh -uh, no, but no, can, right? can you see that in copper? Copper, oh spark, metallic, spark. I'm obsessed with copper. That, that was what I thought of when I first That's what copper's in that handle. I'm obsessed with copper. I love copper that. looks good with heaven. Write that down. Heaven and copper. Ooh. Okay. I it's love beautiful. Copper. Beautiful. But yes, uh, Aries, I, I need Gemini. I need Gemini. Mm -hmm. My oldest is a Gemini. So Okay. I need it. Well, you Absolutely. you Libras actually put up with us Geminis. <laughs> That's what Marlon says. I'm like, I know. He's yes, so calm. Yes. He's so calm and Y'all, I had a thing with my thumbnail today. I was freaking out. I tried something new and I know just enough about technology to be dangerous. And um, AI came into play. So, you know, it's another nail in the AI coffin. But AI was like, oh, we can do this for you. Well, not only did it do it for me, it puts up this thumbnail. And I'm like, no, no, that's not what I wanted. Oh, my gosh. I thought it was going to be easier then it wouldn't let me take it down and for those of you i don't know how many of you saw the first thumbnail marlon changed it because he was sick and tired of me shrieking and running around going oh, this is terrible this is awful so the first <laughs> thumbnail that i again i don't know what happened like i said i know just enough about technology to be dangerous but um it pops up my picture that no one needs to see that big and then Dakotathon. So it's the thumbnail. And I'm like, I look like a complete egomaniac. Like no one else is important. It's about me. I love myself. And here's my picture. And I'm like, oh, this no. is not what I wanted. So I'm like, get it off, get it off. Marlon's like, Kara, will you come? I'm like, I can't, you know, of course, this is what I would always say to people around me at work too. I can't make it work. Just make it work. And so he was like, step away from the computer, be calm. So this is, again, this is a Libra and a Gemini interacting. So y'all stay calm and Geminis are going into their second personality going, oh my God, oh my God. So he changed it, but <laughs> I was horrified at that first, oh God, I was Aww. like, this is not okay. Oh my gosh. I'm sure people saw it and went. What on earth is she doing? Good well, Marlon Marlon to the rescue. Thank you, Marlon. But it was yeah. fine. Oh, thank you, Marlon. I uh, sued. Kara, you just need all of the sparkles. I know. <laughs> um, yes, disclaimer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Cheryl. Uh, no, Sue Bell didn't help me. Sue Bell was at that retreat. She didn't even stop me. I know. I know. <laughs> no one helped me. They just let me go. Just let me go. But that's what we do. We're like, yeah, go ahead in there. Go ahead. Stop but me. That there. was when the Pearl Quad Cubes had just released. Yes. I yes. think I got them in every color they had there. I mm -hmm. was like, oh, I must have that. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely. Definitely got it. It got that. so ridiculous. I literally was hanging my head in shame, going, just add it. Just add just, it. Just it's put okay. it in. Just put it in. Well, I'll <laughs> give you guys a sneak peek. I'm going to use navy quad cubes 
Ooh. in the sky. Pretty. Yay. That was fun. With okay. Pixie. With Pixie drills. Okay. We got to talking and we got behind. And I um I Ooh. am I am looking at time because Brandy is going live with uh Randall Spangler. We got all kinds of irons in the fire, this committee. I swear. Like <laughs> yes. Uh, Alyssa and I are planning a retreat. You know, Rochelle is doing several things in the diamond pit. Rochelle's planning a retreat. Um, Alyssa just got done with Mermaids and Magic. She's now jumped into Dakota Thon. Well, not that she already has. So we're, we're all double dipping here. So if we all seem a little, woo, that's why. <laughs> we'll all be okay, though. But I'm getting off of here because Brandy has Randall Spangler on next, Mystery of Diamonds. So um, we're going to give away some prizes. and. Let's do it. Since Rochelle is the uh, woman of the hour that uh, documented everything and kept us all straight, I'm going to let her announce it. I do have some examples of the prizes that we're giving away, so I'll show them, and Rochelle, take it away. All right, here we go. So we got probably six minutes so we don't run into Brandy's live. All right, the very first one is the gift card for $20 from a wonderful sponsor. All of our sponsors are wonderful. Firefly. And the winner is Patty Church. Congratulations, Patty. Patty. Yay, Patty. Congratulations. So you can use that at the Firefly site for what you want. So there congratulations, Patty. Congrats. The next one is a drill grinder by Zodiac Shadows. Here it and is. The winner is Alley Cat. Alley Cat, you won the drill grinder. Love it. So All right, on the next one, you guys are going to bear with me on this name. Hopefully I get it right. If not, you know, just let me know. All right. It's a gift card for $15 for one of my favorites, DP the Sparklers. And it's, I think it's Pequi, Pequi, Tovar Escuba. All right. Congratulations. Congratulations. All right. Next one is a, a cover minder and drill tray from Doggone. And that's Kim Dunigan. Hopefully I pronounced that right, Kim. Congrats, Kim. Congratulations, Kim. So a DP tray and cover minder. The next one is your choice of a crystal canvas art design. And that is Maggie Nicole Cotter. Congratulations, Maggie. Congratulations, Maggie. All right. Next one is gift card for $20 from Patsy Putty. And the winner is Helen Thomas. Congrats, Helen. Helen, congratulations. Here's the biggie. Gift Ooh, card, $50. I want this one. This one makes me sad that I'm not participating. DAC, $50 gift card. And that goes to Nikki. I think it's McKelps. All right, Nikki. Nikki, congratulations. Congratulations. All right. 3D pen holder from Carissa Craft Corner. This is and nice I got that. So this one is what it is. I need one of those. And that goes to Brandy Styles. Congratulations, Brandy. Okay, styles or stills? Sorry, Brandy, if I butchered that, but congrats. All right. Now, our next category is our cross stitch painting mm -hmm. and coloring category. And it's a handmade bracelet from Bez Creations. And that goes to Dina Lord. I thought that bracelet was so yeah. cute. It's congrats, beautiful. Dina. And Dina, you also get a crab uh, needle minder as well. It's in, in the precious stone stuff. So that's awesome. All right. This is our last gift. And I think this one is so special. And it is our kids gift. And Kara's going to talk a little bit about it. But our winner this week is Piper. And her Piper! mom is Christina Yeager. I had fun Piper. shopping. I had fun shopping today. I, I, I'm okay. I had fun shopping. So Piper, that's for you. I um So just before, you know, everyone's like, oh my gosh, how do I, you know, get my prize, whatever. So what you're going to do is you're going to email your name and I'll have your email because you're going to email me. Don't message me on Instagram. I don't go to Instagram every day. I'm terrible. Email the principal painter, principal P-A-L at the end, not P-L-E. We've had some people do that. Remember the principal is your pal. Uh, the principal painter at gmail.com. I will put that email address also in our Dakota Thon page. What I will also do tonight is I will go to the Dakota Thon page and list the winners and what they won um, so that people can refer to it. We do not 
and we love y'all, but we do not have time to chase people down for prizes. And we're going to give it about a week. Please help each other out. If you know these people and you know they're not on the live, please call them. Tell them they won. Tell them to email me. You can do that. Um, we need to help each other out. I know life happens. Sometimes people aren't able to be in lives or what have you. But help each other out. If you know any of these people, please let them know to email me. Um, again, it will be on the Dakotathon Facebook page. So if someone contacts you and says, oh, my God, I missed the live. Did they draw the weekly winners? Yes, they did. And the prizes and the winners are on the page. I will pin them to the feature. That's what you need to do. And we will get your prizes out to you. OK, um, let's see. Yes. Good luck. Week two. We got more amazing prizes. And I always say this, but we do not do what we do without these incredible sponsors. They are donating from their businesses. Um, I will, uh, in addition, put the uh, shop and the prize down beside the winner's name on the Dakotathon page so that you can, can go. I mean, I'm just encouraging people, show them some love because um, they're extremely um, generous and guys, remember this, we're not the only ones hitting these sponsors up for donations. There are lots of events going on, retreats going on, and these sponsors are getting hit up quite a bit. And I have never known anybody to say no, you know, um, we can't help you. So um, they are super generous and we need to make sure that we're patronizing them and showing them some love. So thank you to all of our sponsors um, we will have more prizes next week. I'm keeping track now. Rochelle, can can you keep track of stats for me? Because I, I got you. No worries. <laughs> I'm a mess. So. I'll bring the stats to the show. Don't you worry. Yay! Okay, right. guys. Well, that is what we've got for you tonight. Thanks, Rochelle, for being here. I'm so glad I had, I had Bud with me. And uh, thank you to the rest of the committee for your work this week on everything. Um, another reminder, I did put it in the group, the threads. The threads for everything are pinned to features. So the week one threads are closed. However, the start thread is never going to close. So if you jump in late, make sure that you don't just post on the Dakotathon page itself. The way to make your post count is to go up to featured, find the start post and make sure your start posts and your progress posts for each week are on those threads. So this morning I put up a th three threads for week two. One is week two diamond paintings. One is week two cross stitch coloring uh, painting. Thread three is kids. So make sure you're posting under those threads because that's what we're looking at to get the names to draw. Those threads will go up every Monday. Sunday is an admin day for us. That's we we're, we're meeting every single Sunday to draw winners. The entire committee is there. We're drawing the winners, making sure that we have them all listed. So we're ready for you for the live on Mondays. So nothing will happen on Sundays. We're taking a break. Y'all take a break too. Just diamond paint. Don't worry about Sunday because that's our time to kind of catch up, catch our breath and plan for the week ahead. So that's what's going on there. So um, right. yeah, help each other out. Um, congratulations to the winners, but there will be more winners next week. So congratulations. Congratulations. Thanks for being here, Rochelle, and giving us all, all your wonderful tips. I, I'm now going to be looking at Majesty going, okay, what can I do? I may be calling you. Oh, please. <laughs> I'm here. You call me anytime. Thank you, everyone. And congratulations to all the winners. And I'll see you guys next week. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye.